My experience in uh, EICU medicine began when we looked to provide more consistent care at Christiana Care across multiple ICUs and multiple hospital locations. We decided that EICU would be our solution, and it certainly has been. It has allowed us to supplement the good care already being provided. It has helped us support the great nurses we have on staff. It has helped alleviate some of the pressure our critical care workforce was feeling to support these multiple ICUs across multiple hospital locations. And we're in a city location, we have a lot of doctors, and even so, uh, well, there's still tremendous pressure to provide this support with one-on-one -on -one physician support. EICU allows us to provide the same high level of care at 2 o'clock in the morning that we provide at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Nurses and physicians ready, readily available to assist in patient care. Another set of eyes, so to speak, watching these very ill patients. Patients whose condition will rapidly change, oftentimes without warning. Traditionally, nurses and physicians regularly monitor their patients, checking on them at the bedside, room by room, one patient at a time. EICU supplements that care, closely watching the patient's conditions 24 hours a day, with physiologic monitoring and intermittent video camera assessments. The physiologic monitors are supplemented with sophisticated computer software to watch for trends in vital signs, laboratory results, and other parameters to tip off the caregivers that the patient may be deteriorating before it becomes clinically apparent. Crisis prevention rather than crisis management. That's what this is all about. The EICU team closely watches for these abnormal trends, alerting the bedside caregivers when, the, when it is felt to be appropriate. Obviously, this allows the critical care team at the bedside to respond sooner to the patient's deterioration, hopefully halting the decline before it becomes catastrophic. What does the EICU mean to local communities, the local caregivers? It provides a constant state of support and a constant peace of mind. Less stress for the bedside nurses who now have a wide awake board certified intensivist in the middle of the night to help them with their difficult patients. Less stress for the local physicians who can now get a better night's sleep knowing that their patients are being closely watched by colleagues who will carry out their instructions for their patients, only changing those plans if the patient's care dictates. For the nurses, there are fellow nurses who can use the technology to help ensure the patients are safe. We are all aware of the explosion of information recently about medical errors, <coughs> excuse me, and the harm that they cause our patients. Unfortunately, the ICU is not immune from this. E-care will allow another set of eyes to help catch and hopefully prevent any errors from occurring. Let me try and give you an example. A local nurse is changing an intravenous infusion at a patient's bedside in an intensive care unit. With the ICU cameras, this nurse can collaborate with the nurse in the EICU, confirm that they have the right medication, at the right dose, the right concentration, the intravenous pump is correct, and by the way, it's the right patient. Without the EICU, this nurse would have to corroborate the information by getting another nurse, taking that person away from the patient's bedside, and doing the same corroboration. Oftentimes in busy ICUs, that can't happen. There's just not enough time. People are too busy. That's how errors occur. For local patients and families, the EICU is a great communication tool. There's always someone available to speak with these people if their local caregiver, specifically the physician, is not available. With the EICU, families see that there's an entire team caring for their loved one 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that's a good thing. 